In this video, I'll be showing you how to share a page on Notion. So I'll be showing you two different ways to share the page. The first one is what you'll use to share with an individual person. And the other one is where you can actually share your page to the web so that you can just send a link to anyone or you could post it online and many different people could easily view your Notion page. Okay, so let's start with how to share with an individual person. So let's just say that this is the page that I want to share and I just want to share it with one other person. So if you just look up in the top right hand corner, there is a share button. So click on that. Next, it will ask you to input the email address of the person that you want to share it with. So I'm just going to type in an email address here. So once you've typed in their email address, you can then decide the type of access that that person has. So it normally will come up here with full access. That means that this person can change anything on this page, but you might just want them to be able to view it, but not necessarily edit anything. So if you click on that, it will give you a few different options. So you can either set it to can view. So that just means they can view the page, but they can't edit it and they can't share it with anyone else. You can also have can comment. So that means they can view it and comment on it, but they can't edit it. If you have the plus plan of Notion, you can share it with them and they can edit it, um, but they wouldn't be able to share it with anyone else. Um, or you can grant full access, which just means they can do anything they want. They can edit it and they can share it with other people. So I'm just going to leave it as full access for this example, but feel free to pick the option that suits you best. So once you've inputted the email address, you can just click this button invite and it will send an invite to that person by email. They'll then just need to click on the link in the email and it will open up the page that you've shared with them. If you've sent it to a person that you have shared a page with in the past, you can actually just type in their name and it will remember their email address from the previous time. Um, so you can just click straight on their name and it will automatically send the email. So you can do this as many times as you want. So say there was two individual people that you wanted to send this to, you could just share it again, type in the email address of the other person and again, just do that same thing. So the great thing about this method is it keeps your Notion space private, but you can invite as many people as you want to view your workspace. So say there was two different individual people that you wanted to send this to, you could just send it to the first one, then head up here and click share again and send it to another person. And the other way that you can share a page is by making it public. So this is kind of like publishing a website. So you would publish your page to the web and then you could send a link to anyone. They don't even have to use Notion, but they would still be able to access the page. So like I say, it's kind of like a website. So to be able to do that, you want to click again on this share button in the top right corner. But this time we want to click on this publish button here. It will then allow you to publish to the web. So I'm going to click this button. So now that I've clicked that, this page is now live on the web. Um, and here is the link. So if I copy this web link, I can then send that to anyone I want. I could post it on social media. I could do anything I want with it. Anyone that clicks this link will be able to view this page. As I said, it's now public. There are a few different options that you can um, amend here. So for example, if you have the plus plan, you can make the link expire. So maybe for example, you only want it to be active for say a day or a week. Um, you can amend that here. But as I say, you do need the plus plan. Um, you can allow editing. So I've currently got this set to off. So that just means anyone that comes to this page, they can view the page, but they can't make any changes. They can't edit anything. So it's up to you if you want to put that on. It depends really what the purpose of this is. If it's something that you want people to be able to edit, then of course you can turn that on. But in this case, I just want them to be able to view it, but not make any changes. We also have the allow comment. So this would allow someone to leave a comment on here, but they wouldn't actually be able to edit or change anything else on the page. They could just leave a comment. This one is allow duplicate as template. So this essentially means if someone opens this page, if you have this set to on, um, whilst they can't edit anything on this page, they could duplicate it into their own workspace, which essentially just makes a copy of the page that they could then edit in their own personal workspace. So it wouldn't change anything on the public version, but they would have their own private version that they could make changes to. So again, you can keep that on or off depending on if you want people to be able to replicate this um, page and make changes in their own personal workspace. And then finally, you can have search engine indexing. So this is only available on the plus plan, but if you have the plus plan and you switch this on, it essentially means that this page can be indexed in Google search results. Um, so it again, it depends on if you want people to be able to find this organically through Google or other search engines. Um, so as I said, all you need to do to share this with people is click the copy web link and just send this to whoever you want to be able to see the page. If at some point you decide you want to remove this from the web, you want to unpublish it, you can come here and click unpublish. Um, so if I click that, it's now removed it. So this page is no longer public. So just a few other pointers with this. Um, the first thing is that if you send this link to anyone, they will be able to access it. So even if someone doesn't use Notion, they will still be able to view um, and access this page. 
It's also worth knowing that if this page was published to the web, the entirety of this page would be made public and also any sub pages within it would also be made public. So let's just say I added another page here that was for example, my qualifications, and I had a whole page where I went over my qualifications. If I just go back to the resume. So this page I've just created, so it has all my qualifications on it. As this is a sub page of this page, it would also be made public um, by sharing it to the web. So that's just something to be aware of. And that's it. That's exactly how you can share a page on Notion. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe to my channel. And you can also check out my pre-made Notion templates on my Etsy store. The link will be in the description box below.